Hi, my name is Adam Cox. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist based in London in the UK, a phobia expert, a founder of phobiaguru.com and the UK's leading expert at eliminating phobias rapidly, quite often in just a single session. Now, monophobia is the fear of being alone. Now, this quite often was caused by um, perhaps being left alone for a short period of time when they were a child and their sense of panic of not being around someone that they can rely on, such as a parent or a sibling. Um, it could also be learned from a parent that might have had a similar fear and they've just adopted it almost as if it's a fear of their own, which of course it then becomes. Now the symptoms of a fear of being alone, monophobia, is huge amounts of anxiety whenever there aren't people close by. And it tends to be not just random people, but people that they can rely on. So friends or family members. Um, if people are in a crowd of people, but they don't know any anybody, that can also still make them feel alone. Um, so it's normally people that they can trust or rely on or already know. And quite often that creates feelings of dependency where people tend to stay uh, around people um, because there is this anxiety whenever they have this uh, feeling of separation. And you see this with um, sometimes dogs, for example, they get separation anxiety. So if the owners leave the home, it gets them in a highly distressed state. And this kind of feeling resonates a lot with people with monophobia because if, let's say, friends and family go away and they're left on their own, they really feel this sense of separation and, and loneliness. And it's a very distressing feeling, which leads them to want to kind of follow people around, be very dependent on people. And the implications of this later on in life is that when they reach adulthood, they can find it very difficult um, to go to places like studying in a different city, for example, or moving out and living on their own because their association is a feeling of anxiety or abandonment or a feeling of distress or separation. And they're all very, very unpleasant um, feelings. So the coping strategy is to avoid those feelings by being in close proximity. Now, technology can help with this because for some people, um, it might lead them to phone people or do video chats on a frequent basis. But this is just a coping strategy for the phobia and doesn't eliminate the phobia itself. The key to eliminating the phobia itself is to get to the root cause and to create new neural associations so that there is a new evaluation as to what it means to be alone. And sometimes there's certain hypnotic protocols that I do to actually highlight what it would mean to be truly alone and to have this ability to reframe what loneliness is and what connection is and how to create new connections. So there is a new way of looking at the situation to make it impossible to feel alone and therefore to have the fear of being alone. Um, if you have monophobia, if you have this fear of being alone, please make a note in the comments so that other people that have this fear um, know that they're not alone in this fear, which you know I'm sure you appreciate the uh, irony there. Um, if you have any questions about monophobia, please put them in the comments. I'll do my very best to reply to each and every one. Um, equally, if you know someone that has monophobia, a fear of being alone, please share this video with them. They might find it useful. If you would like to consider working with me, there'll be a link somewhere near this video that will enable you to book a free 30-minute consultation call so that you can ask me any questions and I can explain what I've done for other people. Um, and equally, if you would like to learn more about monophobia or any other phobia, please visit my website, phobiaguru.com. Thank you.